A pleasant day to everyone. We are the researchers from Capi State University main campus and it is our honor to be part of this Regional Teachers and Students Congress conducted by the Philippine Association for Teachers and Educators and to present to you our research study entitled Development of Blogs as Supplementary Learning Media in Science. We are the researchers. I am Josel O. Villanueva. I am Mary Ann Onin. And I am Gerson Palacios. Relative to that, let us start with the introduction of our study. Introduction Science education plays a vital role in cultivating students' understanding of the world, especially of the usual occurrences that science could explain. Through learning science, students can easily explain phenomena that they mostly encounter and defy pseudoscience science and superstition beliefs. It provides ways of making sense of the world systematically. However, science education in the Philippines faces serious challenges as Filipino students always show poor performance in both national and international science assessments. In a study conducted by Orleans 2007, presented that science education in the country moves slowly compared to the other countries. It is evident that the performance of students is consistently low in the trends in international mathematics and science study teams 2008 and in the National Achievement Test Jamalsku 2014. As a result of this, science teachers are challenged to step up in delivering quality science teaching. One way to strive for it is to elevate learning experience by using learning media. As mentioned by Adi Johans 2018, Learning media is utilized as teaching tools as an intermediary in the learning process to facilitate the achievement of teaching goals. In fact, an effective science teacher understands the variety of information and communication technology or ICT and other resources and how to incorporate them into new learning experiences. In accordance with the current developments, one of the learning media that can be used by the students in learning science phenomena is vlog. Vlog or video vlog is a form of activity that is made in the form of recording videos or some images that are combined with other sounds, images, and or animations. It is an interesting type of learning media that can hook students' attention. It is in this premise that the researchers felt the need to develop lags as supplementary learning media in science, the researchers would like to contribute their efforts to the welfare of science teachers and students. That is why this study was conducted. Importance of the problem or research. This study can provide information in developing lags as supplementary learning media in science among science major students and teachers in Capi State University main campus. Vlogs developed in this study can be utilized in the teaching learning process. Furthermore, the results of the study would be a great help to the following concerned organizations and individuals. Students, teachers, administrators, community, future researchers, and bloggers. Objectives of the study. Generally, this study was conducted to develop blogs as supplementary learning media in science. Specifically, this study aimed to First, determine the qualitative descriptions of blogs in terms of content accuracy, usability, presentation, creativity, and audience appeal. Second, determine the general acceptability of blogs as supplementary learning media in science in terms of the following topics, earthquake, lightning, and typhoon. Next is the methods of the study. This study employed developmental research design as a method of collecting data to provide results in relation to the products that were developed. The developmental design of this study is designed to produce three science blogs which include three topics such as earthquake, lightning, and typhoon and determine their qualitative descriptions based on the five parameters such as content accuracy, usability, presentation, creativity, and audience appeal. Likewise, it was also suited in determining the acceptability of these blogs as supplementary learning media in science. This study was conducted in the College of Education Capi State University, main campus, Rojasili Capis, during the first semester of academic year 2021 to 2022. The evaluators of the study were the first year students who are taking up Bachelor of Secondary Education, BS Ed major in Science, Science Professors, and Media Expert in the College of Education in Capi State University, main campus. 70 student participants, 3 teacher participants, 
and one media expert were chosen through purposive sampling technique. Moreover, from 70 student participants, 40 were from Section 1A and another 30 were from Section 1B. The primary instrument used to gather data from the student and teacher evaluators was the evaluation sheet. The evaluation sheet was divided into three parts. Part 1 was for the basic profile of the respondents. Part 2 determined the qualitative descriptions of the vlogs which includes five parameters such as content accuracy, usability, presentation, creativity, and audience appeal. While part 3 was intended for the general acceptability of the three vlogs. Every parameter contains five statements which were used by student and teacher respondents to evaluate the vlogs. The evaluation sheet used a five-point scale in which five indicates the highest score and one indicates the lowest score. The evaluation sheet was checked by the advisory committee for the consistency of the questions ensuring that they jive with the objectives of the study. The instrument was then subjected to rigorous process of content validation by the advisory committee. Content validation was done by examining the items on the evaluation sheet one by one to make sure that the objectives were appropriate and significant in gathering the necessary data. Figure 2 shows the procedural flowchart showing the general process and developing flaws. So first we have drafting of the flow, next is the script writing, gathering of materials, tools, equipment and video editing software, video shooting and voice recording, downloading, editing and exporting, submission for content validation, revising, uploading, and the last one is the evaluation. Let's proceed to the results and discussion of the study. Objective number one, determine the qualitative descriptions of lags in terms of content accuracy, usability, presentation, creativity, and audience appeal. The table presents the qualitative description of lags in terms of its five parameters, namely content accuracy, usability, presentation, creativity, and audience appeal. The overall mean of lags in terms of content accuracy was 4.81. This overall mean implies that lags had very accurate qualitative description of its content. This implies that lags about earthquake, lightning, and typhoon are suitable for teaching and learning process since it can help students to learn more from true and correct information presented in the blogs. It conformed in the study of Molida 2017, which reveals that blogging is a video component that provides a series of online broadcasts which allows everyone to create and post contents. Moreover, this further supports the study of Lee 2017, which states that blog is used by the blogger to express the information, opinion, idea, even public diary through video with a purpose to be seen by an unplanned audience in a wider world. The overall mean of lags in terms of usability was 4.66. The overall mean implies that blogs had very usable qualitative description of its usability. This implies that blogs about earthquake, lightning, and typhoon are ready to be utilized as part of the teaching learning process to aid students in understanding this aforementioned phenomena. This result conforms to the study of Baran 2015 who stated that video blogs is a way of demonstrating understandings about variety of subjects and concepts. The total mean of lags as supplementary learning media in science in terms of presentation was 4.66. The total mean implies that the blogs had a very adequate qualitative description of its presentation. This implies that blogs about earthquake, lightning, and typhoon had presentations that were smooth and easy to follow and understand. This conforms to the study of Yahaya and Munyandi 2014 who concluded that video and formal education is a medium that learners are comfortable with. The total mean of lags as supplementary learning media in science in terms of creativity was 4.73. The total mean implies that the blogs had very creative qualitative description of its creativity. The result implies that the blogs about earthquake, lightning, and typhoon can catch the interest of the students due to the fact that the whole video are filmed in a unique way. This conforms to the study of Thomson et al. 2014, which found out that using blog to convey appropriate and complementary information has been shown to increase students' retention and ability to transfer information. It also increases students' engagement with videos. 
The total mean of lags of supplementary learning media in science in terms of audience appeal was 4.72. The overall mean implies that the lags had very appealing qualitative description of its audience appeal. This implies that lags about earthquake, lightning, and typhoon can increase the length of time the students spend in watching the vlogs. This affirms to the study of Anil 2016 who found out that students showed great interest and enthusiasm while using vlog. Objective number two, determine the general acceptability of vlogs as supplementary learning media in science in terms of the following topics, earthquake, lightning, and typhoon. Table 2 presents the general acceptability of lags as supplementary learning media in science. The general acceptability of lags as supplementary learning media in science had an overall mean of 4.81. This overall mean implies that lag had a very acceptable rating of its general acceptability. Furthermore, the data revealed that the overall mean of the general acceptability of lag as supplementary learning media in science ranged from 4.76 to 4.90. The highest mean of 4.90 interpreted as very acceptable was on the earthquake blog. On the other hand, the lowest mean of 4.76 interpreted as very acceptable was on the lightning blog. The result implies that the blogs about earthquake, lightning, and typhoon possessed content accuracy, usability, presentation, creativity, and audience appeal which were very acceptable to the students and teachers as supplementary learning media in science. Bull et al. 2007 state that digital video technologies offer unique opportunities through interactivity and user-generated content to retain the instructional paradigm, particularly to match the needs of the subject to be taught. Lastly, these are the conclusions that were drawn from our study. The qualitative description of blogs in terms of content accuracy was very accurate. This means that blogs about earthquake Lightning and Typhoon included true and correct information about science concepts and ideas. In terms of usability, the qualitative description of vlogs was very usable. This means that vlogs about earthquake, lightning, and typhoon are ready to use as supplementary learning media. In terms of presentation, the qualitative description of vlogs was very adequate. This means that the overall presentation of the vlogs from the start until the end show satisfying presentation to the viewers. In terms of creativity, the qualitative description of vlogs was very creative. This means that the three vlogs present the topic in the most unique way. In terms of audience appeal, the qualitative description of vlog was very appealing. This means that the vlogs are interesting to watch. Vlogs about earthquake, lightning, and typhoon as supplementary learning media in science were very acceptable. This means that these developed products are suitable to use as supplementary learning media in science, subject to facilitate learning outcomes. These are the recommendations of our study. The parameters utilized in this study in determining the qualitative descriptions of earthquake, lightning, and typhoon vlogs where all have highest rate of evaluation, such as very accurate, very usable, very adequate, very creative, and very appealing. Thus, the researchers recommend to the future researchers to consider other parameters related to vlog to determine its qualitative descriptions. Vloggers may consider the duration of their vlog as supplementary learning media in science such that it may not lower than 3 minutes and not exceed to 10 minutes to engage students watching and finish the vlog without feeling bored and saturated. They may also increase the font size of the subtitle of the vlog to make it readable for the viewers. School administrators may encourage their science teacher subordinates to use these vlogs about earthquake, lightning, and typhoon to their classes as supplementary learning media to increase students' learning in science. To end our presentation today, we would like to present to you our research outputs which are the vlogs which tackle about earthquake, lightning, and typhoon. These are our outputs. Once again, we are the researchers from Capi State University main campus with a research title, Development, Development of Vlogs as Supplementary Learning Media in Science. I am Joseph O. Villanueva. I am Mary Ann Onin. And I am Jerson Palacios. Thank, Thank you so, so much, much for listening and Godspeed.